uh, Chris Chinook here in the digital projection booth at HITSIC 2013, uh, where they're showing their first uh, three-chip uh, LED-based uh, projection system. Uh, they say this is the first one in the world that's actually uh, uh, available now. Uh, and uh, it also has uh, IR uh, LEDs in it as well, so you can run uh, night vision goggle uh, applications. Now, what's interesting is that this will run at 120 hertz. It's 3D capable. So if you want to do um, uh, just an NVG uh, scene, you can run in one uh, DVI cable and run that imagery. If you want to do a combination of RGB uh, visible and IR, you can run the RGB in, in the other uh, cable, the other DVI. And those then would be blended or interleaved in the projector, uh, just the same way you would do uh, an input for a 3D display, left eye and right eye on those two, uh, those two inputs. Now, what's really interesting about this projector uh, is this data sheet that they showed me. And uh, what this shows is a color gamut for this projector, uh, which is much higher than I've seen for any other projector out there right now. Uh, looking at the, uh, the, 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 the uh, RGB color points on this, it looks to me to be very close to the EBU's 2020, uh, BT2020 uh, recommendation, which is the next generation, uh, the uh, 4K, uh, UHD1, they call it, and UHD2 D2, uh, color gamut specification. Um, and as far as I know, there are no displays that actually come close to this. This now appears to come close to it. And interestingly, the company wasn't even aware of this 2020 color gamut. Uh, so this might be a new opportunity for folks in the projection space to, uh, to target broadcast and even potentially uh, home cinema applications as, as BT2020 content becomes available. Uh, so interesting development here at ITSIC, uh, Chris Chinook for Display Central.